I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth and I'm Coach Victoria and today we're going to be talking about my ex was the best that I could do. Oof. We feel like that a lot. Mm -hmm. When we get close to somebody and we bond with them and we fall in love with who they are, when they leave us it really feels like we're never going to find somebody that somebody else that we want to be with. Mm -hmm. And you might be a person who always sees the best in somebody so when you do get attached you're always looking at all their positives and focusing mm. on them. Yeah. I've even had a couple of people over the years that do not bond with anybody, like mm. literally anybody. And this was the one person they were going to bond with and they would be struggling with that breakup for mm. years. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, I remember two people that really stood out to me over the years that just could not get past it and date anybody else mm. and you feel bad for somebody like that because you know if they really feel like that or believe that or are in that mindset they're just gonna stay stuck mm -hmm. and they're not gonna really truly enjoy the future based on somebody else's behavior exactly and sometimes the thought that comes alongside of my ex was the best that I could do it's also very self-deprecating I'm not worth more. I don't deserve a happy, healthy relationship. I can't see myself in a fulfilling partnership in the future. Those are some thoughts that really coincide with, with that my ex was the best. Yeah, well, you hear things like all the time, like, oh, that person's out of your league. Mm. You know, they're out of your league. And so when you hear that with other people, you kind of believe it for yourself. Mm. You kind of internalize this person is out of my league or that person is out of my light league. And we really believe that inside. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't ever feel like that, but a lot of you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we may feel like we don't have as much value in the dating world and that our partner was ultimate to us. Yeah. It can be really it, I know I felt like that. Yeah. I know I felt like, uh, you know, particularly with the Applebee's girl, because we had so much fun together. It was just like constant laughing and joking. And, you know, she was very involved with like me doing comedy and going to comedy shows and she even filmed some short videos with us mm -hmm. and my comedian friends and mm -hmm. like she would be like standing out as the actress and these things mm -hmm. she was so good and so you know in that sense it was like such a unique person that it felt like oh, I won't find somebody like mm -hmm. that you know yeah. or I won't find anybody else that I can be with in the future and so it's normal to feel like that 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 your ex is so special that you won't bond with other people. But mm -hmm. we're gonna talk about that today. Exactly, so first off, we like to define things and really get into the nitty gritty. So we wanna challenge you to define what you mean by best. Do yeah. you mean most attractive? Do you mean most caring? Do you mean funniest, as in Craig's case? Do you mean most successful? Or were they just the whole package in your eyes? They were the best of the best, creme de la creme. They had everything that you could want in a partnership. Yeah. So we really want you to even take this as an exercise to write down, okay, what was it that you loved about this person? And all of this is data about you. This That's is true. all data about the things that you enjoy in a partnership, what you want out of out of a relationship. And and even your own insecurities in some ways. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we talked about recently in a video that uh, some people are very attracted to somebody they see as extremely attractive not so much because of the looks but because it makes them feel like they're more valuable or special because they're with somebody who they deem valuable or special exactly or sometimes we can be attracted to qualities in a partner that we wish we had ourselves if we see a partner who's really confident and we struggle with self-confidence we might think wow that's who i aspire to be it's so inspiring to be around them mm -hmm. and so that's another challenge that that you might see but all of this 
can help you get to know yourself better. We want to start off with that. Well, look at it this way. As you're getting to know yourself, now that you've come to the channel, you see all the different areas that we talk about. Mental health, attachment issues, skills to be a better partner, doing a lot of attractive behaviors that are going to attract other people. When you truly become more secure, you're going to attract a lot more people. You're going to be a lot more likely to attract the people you really like and you're going to minimize the mistakes that turn people off. Mm -hmm. And that's so important. A lot of attraction is behavior. Exactly. And if you were able to have a relationship of any length of time with your ex-partner that you saw as the best, imagine now you're intentionally improving yourself. You're intentionally becoming a better partner. Mm -hmm. Imagine what's possible for you now. And imagine what's possible for you in five years. In That's right. That's right, actually, and we, we're going to be filming a email coaching that talks a lot about what you just said. You mm -hmm. haven't seen it yet. Mm -hmm. but, <laughs> That'll be a surprise <laughs> to me. They usually are. But this is a, because yeah, a lot of times we don't go over the mm -hmm. topics before we It's like film. a raw reaction. Yeah. So it's more interesting, mm -hmm. right? We have more fun when we're, go, we're <laughs> yeah, just going with the flow reacting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> People think that we have everything all planned out. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. <laughs> a lot of times, even with, this is behind the scenes stuff. Mm -hmm. Like with Margaret's stuff, I didn't know what we were talking about a lot of times until we were starting the video mm -hmm. or just a few minutes before. Yeah. Or the email coachings, Vicky or Margaret never saw them mm -hmm. ahead of time. So you're always getting live reactions from them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Except for when they faint. We get it that out. <laughs> But yes, it's true. You know, there's there's so much potential out there and we constantly try to remind you of this because we know that you're working so hard and sometimes when you're really working on yourself, you might not be seeing the results immediately. It's just like if you were to work out at the gym and working on your muscles, you know, it's not like you do two push-ups and then suddenly you're jacked. No, it takes time. And and over time, then you do start attracting those who are, are healthier. The right people will notice. Absolutely. Yeah. And we also want you to think about the difference between somebody being the best and then somebody being the best for you. Yeah. And I, I know that this thought might deepen the pit in your stomach because it's this idea of, oh my God, what if me and my ex were fundamentally incompatible? Mm -hmm. What if this wasn't meant to be? Mm -hmm. But we, we just want to take you to the space to really explore what it is that, that you need and what's best for you. And so you can recognize somebody's value and also recognize that they might not be a good fit for your life. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. At the time, it doesn't feel like that. But we're always trying to get you to focus on having a healthy relationship, something that is good for you. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the person you were with, they're not good for you. Mm -hmm. As hard it is to hear that. Yeah. And it's probably hard for you to hear that because you might have been making some compromises to make the relationship work. You might have been um, bending yourself, shaping yourself in a way that would please them and, and would allow the relationship to function. And so you're thinking after all of the sacrifice, of course, we, we must be compatible. We worked through so much together. We were able to make it work. Yeah, yeah. And particularly stuff is going to come up around attachment issues mm -hmm. and somebody being more anxious and the other one being avoidant mm -hmm. and not being able to get those needs met, right? Exactly. So we kind of try and force things uh, because we really want it to work and you know forcing things often makes one person feel pressured or stressed and it just makes them want to push away mm -hmm. right exactly and we also do want to bring up the piece of compatibility because it is a factor you know in some situations there could be a partner who wants to get married and the other doesn't deal or, breakers mm -hmm, wants to have kids and the other doesn't so these are all things to consider as far as was your partner the best or maybe not the best for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we want to end on the note that the world is really, really big. And I know a lot of you hate hearing this and I, I don't mean to bring this up to dismiss any of what you're feeling uh, or to say, oh, there's somebody else you can find and rebuild a new relationship. I'm not saying this to demean your relationship, but just to expand your idea of what is out there, what's available to you and what your options are. 
Yeah, billions of people out there, mm -hmm. and many of them are single and looking for somebody else too. Mm -hmm. And so you have to understand, as much as you may want to be with your ex, they don't have to be in a relationship with you. I know it hurts and it's hard to hear, but it's the truth. Mm -hmm. People get to choose. And if they don't want to come back and they don't want to work things out, you have every right in this world to be happy and to find happiness. And if they don't want to be the person that wants to be in your life with happiness and creating a life together, then you can stay single if you want. But there are a lot of people out there that would probably love to get to know you mm -hmm. and have a relationship with you as well. Exactly. And your ex might have been a phenomenal partner. And there are phenomenal partners that exist in the world. There's people that are just like you, working through their attachment issues, intentionally becoming better partners. That's mm -hmm. a huge goal that we have as a channel to make people more aware of what's going on in their connections, to be more present with people around them, to have a lot more empathy and understanding for other people. So you are one of them by watching this video, by Absolutely. interacting with our content, and by working on yourself. Absolutely. So always stay focused on being the best version of yourself. And a lot of times your ex will come back and be shocked by the amount of progress you have made those of you that are telling them are likely not going to be the ones that are shocking them <laughs> just to let you know because those are mm -hmm. the that are usually uh two three months out saying mm -hmm. i've changed i'm a different person mm -hmm. no you don't need to do that when you show people the changes they will be blown away just like when you're impressed by things that other people do they don't have to tell you mm -hmm. right you don't have to tell them either just focus on being the best version of you, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, I have just one last little comment. The best is also so subjective. Yeah. And so we do realize that there are things that happen to us that can cause us to idealize other people and put them on a pedestal when sometimes we're blinded to the other issues that are underlying. Mm -hmm. So as always on this channel, we also want you to critically think about your relationship, reflect back, were they really the best? Are you just looking at this through rose-colored glasses and, you know, just considering everything we talked about this video, think about that for yourself. And look at it this way. Maybe your ex wasn't the best. Maybe they were great. Maybe they had a lot of great qualities. It doesn't have to be necessarily the best, mm -hmm. okay? Maybe you won't feel like you ever find somebody, quote unquote, better than that person. But it doesn't mean that you won't find a lot of great people right mm -hmm. so like i said you can't force somebody to be with you but if you can be with somebody else that's great well that doesn't seem like a loss to me mm -hmm. exactly all right so hopefully this has been helpful to you of course if you want to get our help personally you could do that on my website askcraig.net i do email coaching and i do skype coach victoria is also available for skype coaching i'm here if you'd like to talk just click on her name at the top of the website to do that but that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. And I'm Coach Victoria. And we will talk with you soon.